beyond of a doubt that the Carolina rig is a staple in surf fishing. And how to tie up a Carolina rig? It's pretty simple. In your main line, you put your uh, your bullet sinker, you know, half ounce or an ounce. You put a bead, and after the bead, you put a swivel. The reason for a swivel is, or not the swivel, but the bead. So when you're casting, without the bead, the sinker will keep smashing on the knot, and eventually the knot will give out and snap on you. So putting a plastic bead protects that knot. See that? How it hits that and the, knot, and the bead protects the knot. And after your swivel, you put your, uh, your leader. And for, for this setup today, I'm using an 8 pounds fluorocarbon cigar red label. It's about 3 to 4 inch of uh, leader line from the swivel to the hook. And the hook of choice is the size 1 or to size 2 Gamakatsu warm shank hook. Not one knot or two knot, size one and two. They're pretty small. They're fairly small, and if you're using plastic worms like this, uh, this uh, gulp sand worm, you're able to hook the, the hook as long as possible and minimizing short bites. So, pretty simple, right? So now that's how you tie a Carolina rig. Hey, good morning guys, Jake G. Pow checking in on this Sunday morning and we're doing a definite, definite Sunday fun day. A definite Sunday fun day. So, yesterday I went back to Lake Hodges and attempted to catch crappie which I have never ever Maybe be more. <laughs> targeted fishing for crappies and I just didn't have the confidence and knowledge on to effectively to effectively target those guys so i reverted back to bass fishing caught me a little two pounder and for the most part it was you know hodges was being hodges and it was being tough so today i feel like i need a redemption and i decided to hit the surf before my midday errands and chores so today i brought two setup i brought my stratic ci4 cicada combo and I borrowed Mrs. Pow Pow's Shreddick FI Cicada Combo. One of the rods is tied up with the Carolina Rig for soft plastic and one with the Lucky Craft Flash Metal 110. So my plan of attack for this morning, I'm going to start with using the LC and trying to see if there's any, any piggies, any slabs that wants to play and you know, assess the bite if I'm getting minimal bites or to none. Uh, we'll be going back and forth and go to the Carolina rig and try to catch some perch. So I'm hoping I do better than yesterday at the lake. And for today's uh, today's tide chart, let's take a quick look right now. For today's tide chart, Sunday, San Diego. So low tide, the last time the low tide peak was at 12.08 a.m. at 2.2 feet. And the next high tide... And high tide peak will be at 6.19 a.m. The current time is 5.40. 40. And the high tide will peak at 6.3 feet. Then after that, it will start to go down. It will start to go down to negative 1.4. Whoa, that's a super low tide. That's ideal for climbing, which I will not be doing. <laughs> Anywho, anyway, so uh, let's get out in the water. The sun's coming up. And uh, let's try to get us some purchase, guys. But always hang tight and wish me luck, guys. Pow. Grass, grass everywhere. Man, this is not looking good for the lucky craft. Not looking good for the lucky craft, guys. Got some challenges today. There are salad all over the water. There's a water pot right there. That's right. Man, that's not good. There's salad all over this thing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Oh, that was a hit. Whoa, that was a hit. Dang, damn it. That was a hit. Dang, I got a hit. All right, they're hitting. All right, guys, I dedicated the first hour, give or take, with the Lucky Craft and only two and a half hits. One nibble, one good smash came off and another one that right after that and after those three hits nothing He's dead no one showing interest so for now let's put, i'm gonna put them down i'll put down this uh, setup and uh use the good old carolina rig okay so i know they're here we got a few bumps it's just maybe they're not preferring the uh something big as far as the lucky crab so let's go small go in a good old good old Carolina rig. Then we're gonna work ourselves down south. Today's kind of nice morning. Meaning as there's no surfers on the water. I'm using a size one warm shank hook. Size one, guys. Not one knot, but size one. Let's go. Oh, come on. Baby biters. Baby biters. Oh, hey. Dang. I'm all the way to the shore. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll land this guy first of the day. Hopefully. Whew. All right, guys. Bye. Skunk Buster right here. That little pommy. That's pretty shallow too, dude. Little palmy right here. Okay, caught this guy up the super slayer. Not super slayer, but the uh, honey badger bait and super slayer. I can say super slayer, I mean the uh, scorpion. All right, guys, I think you found a strike zone right now. About like 20 yards in front of me is where I'm getting hit at. Let's catch more today, hopefully. At least a handful, at least. Well, let's see. They're not even that far, so we're not, we're not gonna lob it like that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Another one. Hell yeah, guys. Oh, Palmy! Number two. Yay, yay. Oh, I got one. Another one. Not for a fresh fry. All right, guys, number, number four for the day. A little Palmy. Let's do this. Switch off to let's see if scented will make a difference today. Ooh, whoa, hey, I got one. Whoa, hell yeah. Okay, another our perch. This guy hit very subtle. A cast parcel can, but a breaker, and little pops here and there. The next thing you know, next thing you know, that perch started pulling, free, pulling back subtle. Pretty crazy, but it's number, I think number five for the day. Yeah. Hey, what the heck? All right. Yay. Look at this little baby guy right here. Play with my emotions. Oh, here you go. Uh, they're too small. Dang. Okay, they're out there. Craziness. I'm not even. Oh, it came off. On a dead stick, dude. That's crazy. Ah! The baby. There you go. Huh. Ooh. Hey. Another palmy. Nice. Pan size. Yay. Look like you got a car ready one time. Look at that. What a flying perch. A little baby, but he hit. This is cutest little perch you've ever seen in your whole life. 
cutie little patootie. Oh, yeah. So that's a wrap for today's session. Start up the morning, the first hour, the first hour, hour and a half on the looking craft. And after that, I decided to switch to my Carolina rig and started catching perch. First plastic of the morning was the honey badger baits, the scorpion, and the color was moto oil too. And uh, after that, the, the tide was receding pretty quick, the water was getting low. I felt that I needed an extra confidence booster, an extra attractant for the, for the perch. So I switched to the two inch Berkeley sandworm in camel color. And today, as far as the technique for both plastic, three techniques work today. One, the steady retrieve was getting hit. Two, the constant popping was provoking hits. And three, when the water was really low and the, 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 the current, oh not the current, but the, uh, the surf was receding, the tide, I mean the tide was receding, the strike zone was actually further out there that, we, you know, I had to use the dead sticking technique. Cast to the, as far as I can, to the strike zone, and as long as possible, just dead stick it. And that was getting hits also. So, three ways to catch uh, perch today. And, uh, I always play with that pattern and see what's working for that day or that at that beach and uh, try to up up your bite size. So as far as how many I kept today or how many I caught today, I caught at least 15 give or take, kept 7 at least palm size and a bunch of micros, missed a whole bunch of hits, a bunch of little hits. So today it was pretty active, pretty active. Alright, hey, thank you for watching my video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe button. Click the like button if you like, share the video, and I'll catch you guys during the next episode. Alright, ladies and gents, when the bite's tough, when the bite's low, let's keep casting or strong trying. Morning. Morning. How are you? Uh, pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Have a good day.